Welcome back to The Code of Ethics, the Realtor's Pathway to Professionalism. In this segment, we'll look at Article 12 and its standards of practice. Article 12 issues a clear call to Realtors, telling us we must present a true picture in our advertising and in our other representations made to the public. The second part of Article 12 tells Realtors to be sure that our professional status, for example, that we are a broker, appraiser, property manager, or whatever other real estate discipline we engage in, or alternatively, that the fact that we are Realtors is clearly spelled out in any advertising we do. Article 12 is frequently and informally referred to as the true picture test by which the truthfulness of Realtors' ads is measured. Realtors frequently use advertising to inform the public about their listings and to create interest in them. A true picture means truthful, accurate advertising, nothing less. Descriptions that go beyond puffing can mislead the public. Statistics representing Realtor sales volumes or comparisons with other firms can be impressive, but if they are inaccurate, untrue, or misleading, their use misleads and harms the public and violates Article 12. There are several standards of practice interpreting and explaining Article 12. You'll want to read each of them and familiarize yourself with the duties and obligations they impose. Rather than reviewing each standard of practice in detail, let's take a look at some of their most important points. Realtors can use the word free and other similar terms in their advertising with the important caveat that all terms governing availability of any product or service offered as free are clearly disclosed at the same time. In other words, if there are terms, conditions, or strings attached, they need to be clear. As Realtors, we can promote our services as free or without cost, even when we expect to receive a benefit or compensation from another source, provided that the potential for us to receive a benefit, including compensation, from a third party is clearly disclosed. Realtors can also offer premiums, prizes, merchandise discounts, and other things of value, even where receiving the premium or prize is contingent on a consumer agreeing to list, sell, purchase, or lease through us. However, Article 12 requires us to exercise care and candor so anyone interested in receiving the premium, prize, merchandise discount, or other item of value we're offering has a clear, thorough, advanced understanding of all of the terms and conditions tied to our offer. Put another way, if there are strings attached, they must be spelled out at the same time. And obviously, any inducement to do business is subject to state law or regulation. Both state law and the Code of Ethics require us to have authority when we advertise real property. That authority most commonly comes from the seller, but in some cases it can be given to us by another broker, generally the listing broker. We are also responsible for the activities of real estate professionals licensed or otherwise affiliated with us. This is true whether or not they are also Realtors and includes everyone employed by us or affiliated with us. In any advertising they do, they must, like us, disclose the name of our firm. At times, Realtors buy or sell on their own account. When we advertise unlisted real property we own for sale or lease, our ads must show our status as the owner or landlord and must also disclose our status as a Realtor or as a real estate professional. At times, questions come up about who actually sold a property. Is it always the listing broker? Or is it the cooperating or selling broker? Both brokers play important roles, and where there's a successful cooperative transaction, both the listing and selling brokers can claim to have sold the same property. However, prior to closing, the cooperating or selling broker can put their sold sign on the property only with the listing broker's consent. You will recall from our earlier discussion of the preamble and Article 1 that the Code of Ethics provides guidance to Realtors operating on the Internet. Standard of Practice 12-9 requires that our firm websites display our firm's name and the state or states in which our firm is licensed, and that display must be made in a reasonable and readily apparent manner. Similarly, websites of licensees affiliated with our Realtor firms must also show the firm's name and the website proprietor's state or states of licensure, and that display must be made in a reasonable and readily apparent manner. Standard of Practice 12-10 ties directly back to Article 12's True Picture Test, requiring that 